I was young. I dreamt of what it would be like to fly in the spaceship. To engage in an epic space battle. I'm now much older, and damn it, I still haven't made it in outer space. So, what's the next best thing? Hell yeah! It's in space for the Oculus Quest! The following is an early access of In Space for the Oculus Quest. Okay, you start out here in the hangar, which, by the way, check out these stairs. There's a nice little Easter egg or surprise to explore. This is your ship, the Minos Starfighter. This is what we're going to be flying in this game. And we'll look around here, and this is the guy who's going to tell you all about your missions. He's a nose-rubbing fool, too. Keep an eye on that. Anyway, these are the different missions. I think I just saw him rub his nose. Uh, there's 12 of them, currently. I do hope they add more levels. I would love to see a multiplayer level on here, uh, which currently doesn't exist. Uh, we can go into the ammo here, and here's all the ammo. We'll go ahead and uh, equip some additional ammo here and the missile loadout Go ahead and up. they're all equipped all right cool we'll go into settings and here you can modify the controls however you want I found the defaults just fine so I didn't make any changes here and that helmet must itch Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the very first mission. We'll go check it out right now so you can see basically what it looks like. Okay, contractor. I know you're an experienced Minos pilot, but since we couldn't take these birds out for a spin while the Condottiero was in transit, you might be a bit rusty. What's more, this model of Minos is different. We've added a few new modifications, but warp drive being the biggest one. Okay, before we get any further, your primary fire button is the trigger down here, and then your primary weapon switch and secondary are the B and A button, and then Y and X will allow you to speed up or slow down the ship, and then the secondary fire button for, like, the Sidewinder missiles is right here. Maybe it's easier to show you in this view here. Right there. To move your ship, you simply move your head in the direction you want it to go. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's get back to the game. I've set up some targets to bring us back up to speed. This shouldn't take too long. And you'll need to be at peak performance for the rest of our tour of duty. Head to the... Now, let's test the afterburners. The new Minos has a thrust capacitor to prevent the engines from overheating. Boost a couple of times to become familiar with the limiter's cooldown time. It's time to test your ship's weapons. Pull the primary fire trigger to fire the energy cannons. Let's see if you can eliminate your first enemy in the target container. The fearsome cargo container. Fantastic. I'm sure the independents of Tartarus fear you already. Head to Warp Gate 3. I've got a bit of a surprise for you. And it isn't more cargo containers. At this point, I want to mention, if you have any issues, let's say you remove the headset and put it back on and this ship starts spinning, just hold the Oculus button down and it'll recenter. The Minos is equipped with a missile launcher and I've just disabled the safety flight inhibitors and three captured liberation fighters. You want to warm up, and today's your lucky day. Lock, hold your gaze on the target. The red crew will turn red when the lock is ready to fire. Pull the second street fire trigger to fire a missile. If you lose sight of your target, the lock will be lost. Okay, so this shooting 
contractor. Looks like you'll be able to look after yourself out here. Now prepare to jump out. Your ship's warp drive is triangulated by mission control. It's the only way to get the warp drive to work in these fallen fighters. To jump, align your ship with the warp vector. Report to debriefing after arrival. You've been spotted in the Thanatos crystal field. These crystals are extremely rare and are used in the creation of warp gates and drives. What you see before you is part of two major crystal accumulations that formed millennia ago around the binary planetary system known as Nix and Erebos. The first three to four missions are rather easy, but they do get quite a bit more difficult as you progress through the game. And stay tuned to the end of the video to get my final take on what I think of the game. Now that the facility's got loud, we can't lock on to your ship's signal. You must use the warp gate. If you like seeing these early access videos, please click the subscribe button down here and you'll never miss another one. I'm Looks just like looking around. Ah, oh, 
Passes missing a head. Contact with the malevolence. <laughs> anyway. Judging by all the debris, I think we can guess what happened here. I've enabled a long wave UTC emergency hailing frequencies. Let's see if there's anyone left alive with that thing. I'm gonna cycle through the different guns so you can get an idea of some of the different weapons. So, what do I think about In Space? It has beautiful graphics, immersive gameplay, an excellent control system, a cool easter egg, and I'm not spoiling it for you, enjoyable missions, and overall a great space shooter. Some improvements, more missions are needed, multi-user support would be kick-ass, and some animations could be more fluid.